Oh, okay. So if you're gonna go there, let's go there. Let's go there. Well, I'll just please. There the was field. someone I ain't, named I ain't answered no more questions. Well, no. I know I'm you not... talk about airborne vet and everything. And I don't who, know who, who that doesn't is. think that you serve. Well, he that's doesn't fine. Think that then you that's serve. fine. That's and fine. So I asked him in Sarah's <laughs> chat, "Do you have any questions that you want me to ask?" And he told mm -hmm. me to ask you questions specifically. So I asked yeah, you about I'm not gonna answer the anything. qualification and all that. Do you remember what they would issue us? Oh my God! You talking about for the sidearms? No, the rifle. Do you remember the what rifle, the name of the rifle the, was? I mean, the only thing we ever, only thing rifle wise, the only thing I ever carried was the M16. Yeah, yeah, because we weren't officers at that time. Uh, so yeah, I mean, the, now that's why I said that. Well, the officers, you know, I, I guess. I mean, I don't know much about that. I, it's, high, it's higher my pay grade, but uh, I've I've heard that you know they're they're issued other things. I know. But uh, like in executive protection, I mean, it was a lot different. I mean, I was, you know, you qualify with a lot of different weapons. But with a, with an army and a, and with a military, it was it was a lot different. You know, you learned your M16 inside and out. You know, you'd have to put it together and take it apart. Not all that. How did they teach you how to qualify whenever you were shooting? Like what are you talking about with the with the yardage when you were, or what? When you were on the range, how did they teach you? We did we did different ways. Um, um, for us, I mean, I, I was I was in the infantry. I don't know what your MOS was, but uh, we we had to shoot we had to shoot prone position too as well. Um. I don't. I don't think I was qualified or nothing like that. I mean, that was part of the training. Uh, but yeah, uh, but but you always we we always had to do something before we actually went to the qualification. There was there's two different sites for the for the range. Do you remember the first site? You talking about the loading place? No, not not where you load the magazines. You got to do something with your rifle before you go to shoot the targets. Inspect it and check it. No, besides that. <laughs> do you remember you the me. Do you remember the three where you had to do the three things, the three holes? The three holes. It starts with a Z. Oh my God! Um... Come on, Ernie. You've got zero me on zero. Zero in it. Zero in in. We're gonna move down to check our targets. All right, we can tell that the shot process is good. All our groups are good. We're still just a little bit high though. Assessing my target, I can see that I need to bring that placement of those rounds down about three minutes. I know what I need to do. Do you remember? <laughs> Zero in here. I don't know. I don't remember. I really don't. I really don't. You had. I know they, the caliber. I know that the caliber. I know all that. Yeah. Don't, don't you remember? But you got me confused. When, well, they they. You talking you, about the first time? You talking about the first time we did it, or what? No. That's weird. Every time, every time you go onto a range, they had right. you go to the first section, which is where you zero your weapon. You have to okay. adjust it. You have to use your little sight aperture, and you have to. Uh, zero. You shoot three fights, three shots, and then you have to walk down. Do you remember what they would have you do? I really, I don't. Oh, okay. I really don't. Okay. Well, say it. Well, you know. I'm trying I, to remember. I, I don't. I really don't. We'll, I mean, we'll I, just, I, we'll, I really... we'll just we'll just say that you don't remember then. You forgot. No, I, I don't. I mean, there's something like. Let me let me think back a second here. I don't know. I really don't. I mean, I can't remember. Uh, that was a. Let's see. I know. I know you. Yeah, you do calibration and all that. But uh, that's already with your weapon. I mean, you you you're, you. We was assigned. We well, we actually had a signed weapon there for once. Yeah. Um So. Everything in that weapon you did, it was, you know, it was up to you to make sure it was. So, 
three things for rifle use. I, I, no, I'm, I'm, I'm confused here. When you said Z, that's what got me. I mean, like... Yeah, so you okay. zero, and... So what, I know, uh, yeah, whenever zero, you zero, zero. Whenever you zeroed with the weapon on the range, how would right. you do that? Do you not remember how you did that? When you zero. With the weapon. Because whenever... So, why do you have to zero with the weapon? Do you remember what the acronym SPORTS for stands for? Oh, Yeah. That's if it locks up and stuff. Yes, I know what sports is. What is it? It's a slap, pull, now, that, observe, that release, tap. Right? You got it. And what's the yeah, I know. The yeah, I know that. I was, but like you, you confused the shit out of me. Just I, I mean, know. Like, I know. Yeah, sports but is. Yeah, it, I know what sports see, is. I, you shouldn't have said that so quickly because I was going to say, Tina, sports <laughs> isn't what you were doing the other night, and that. And no, no hurt. sports. No, sports not. is if your weapon like jams up or something like that. You know, you. uh you're in but a anyway, pretty much. I, but I'll, yeah, I'll, I remember I'll, that. I'll, I'll reveal, you, you have I, me. Ernie, I'll reveal what I was talking about. So when you zero with a weapon, every person, they have a different way that they shoot. They have a different way that they look through the aperture. Because you have the right. front aperture, and then you have the end of the aperture. And the end and, of it, right. And also, sometimes weapons are miscalibrated. People mm -hmm. fuck around with them, and they change the settings. And you well, they get knocked around. And, they get knocked around too, and it can knock them. So loose. you have the stationary target that you shoot at. You remember that white piece of paper? And yes, you would I do. Shoot at it, and you would shoot three rounds, and then the they zero in. The zero in on that. But that, well, you were you talking walk. about walking. You would do it while you're walking. I, I, that's what got me confused. No, well, no, you would shoot three rounds, and then you would walk, and then check your target, and then for, in the beginning, your shot group. It, you'd have a shot group. And it would mm -hmm. be like, there would be like a, bu a, a bullet here, a bullet here, mm -hmm. and a bullet over here. And you, they'd be like, damn, you need to get a little bit closer. <laughs> get them bullets. closer in. The three, the three, the triangle. Yeah. You would shoot now, three. If, I know what you're talking about now. If, yeah. If, but what got what got me confused was when you said when you was walking, you would do something. And I'm thinking, what are you talking about? That's what that's what got me confused about it. But yeah, when you said like yeah. when, when we were learning sports, now, and you I don't know the majority about. of them correctly. I did, I did. I've had a lot you of shit done to me. I know it. And now, and now, what do you think? Correctly. Now, what do you think? But let me ask you a question now. What do you I think? I think now? the same thing that I've always thought. I okay. think you did go to basic training. No, no, no. I, I ain't talking Jimbo. about you. I'm talking I about them dumbasses. That. I'm, but if you remember, and, and you might not have watched it because it was a freaking eight hour live. Um, Airborne Vet was in Sarah's chat and he was saying X Factor, ask him questions. Ask him. He kept pressing me to ask questions. So I said, okay, fine. I'll ask Ernie some questions. And I thought to myself, okay, I'll ask him a question that any soldier who went through basic training would know. And I, I asked him a question about zeroing the rifle. And I asked him before, because when you when you step onto a range in the Army or in any branch, the first thing you have to do is you have to zero your weapon because you get issued a new weapon. It's new to you. They hand it to you, and you read off the serial number, and you have no idea what the sight aperture is, is set to. You don't know how. It, people shoot differently. Their body posture is different. Some people are smaller. Some people are bigger. Their shoulders are different sizes. So you literally have to go and adjust your weapon. Every soldier knows that. It's a requirement. You cannot qualify. They will not send you to the second range. Every range is split in half. There's a, there's a zeroing range and a qualifying range. Mm -hmm. And I kept asking him, what do you do on the range before you qualify? And then I, and then I told him about the three bullets. What about those three bullets that form a triangle that you shoot at that at a white stationary target? I mean, I'm literally throwing, it's like I'm, it's like I'm LeBron James, like throwing him really easy. Easy dunks. Yeah, like your coach, Coach Jimbo. Like I'm, I'm throwing him lobs, like the easiest fucking lobs in the world. Yeah. And 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 then I was like, it starts with a Z, and he still didn't know it. And I was like, it's it's called zeroing. And so literally, uh, there are some soldiers that take hours to zero in basic training because it's the first time shooting a weapon. 
and they suck. <laughs> so the idea that he did not know what zeroing zeroing happens and usually in the third phase of basic during what's called the blue phase i have a feeling that ernie didn't make it to blue phase in basic training that's my theory but when he mentioned the jeep what vehicle did you drive it was a jeep Most soldiers don't call Humvee a Jeep. Right. Um, if you notice at the very end of that video, if you want to, you can go back and play, but you hear me go, hmm. And it's, it's really faint, but I go, hmm. Like, really? You're calling it a Jeep? Most soldiers do not call a Humvee a Jeep. Um, you know, we have deuce and a half. We have five-ton vehicles that we drive. The deuce and a half don't have power steering, most of them. And, you know, a Humvee is a Humvee. A Jeep would have been, we're, we're talking like really, really, really long time ago. Before it got, you know, transitioned into a Humvee. So for him to say that he drove a Jeep, I mean, that's like post-World War II conversation. Right. Korea. <laughs> that kind of shit. Yeah, like a Jeep is what the officers used to drive and like high-ranking NCOs, you know, during the First and Second World, World War when when they were driving around town and they needed to pick somebody up real quick or check on somebody or whatever, they would drive a Jeep because it was functional, easy, low, you know, didn't have a lot of armor, obviously, but it was fast. Right. And so, you know, I, I can't imagine too many trade arcs that still have Jeeps. But now, does that mean that he didn't serve? Now, you all are aware that if, if you know, whenever he released that information or on his documents, I publicly supported that I think that he did serve in the military. What the fuck I'm talking about with weapons? But anyways, I don't like talking about it. That's why I say I remain silent about it. Yeah, you know. 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 You ever played with an XM twenty ten? You ever played with an XM twenty ten? I have not played with one. Let me ask you a question. If you had to guess right now of an XM twenty ten, okay? And you can ask your Ranger buddy that or, or whatever his name is. An XM twenty ten, right? What kind of caliber would you think that that thing would shoot? Uh, I would say a little bit around a fifty cal. So what? What would that be? That what would that be? Well, what's a that'd be a seven? Would they, that be why, a seven? Why, let me ask you a question. Well, would that be a seven six two? Why do they call it a fifty cal? Would that be? Would that be a seven six two? Question. Would that be a seven six two? What do you think, Eric? Would that be a seven six two? Is a fifty caliber a seven six two? Yeah, but what does that prove, Bernie? Well, I'm just asking you. Well, I'm just trying to figure it out. But there. I'm asking I mean, I you, know. what is the point uh, of, of laying out these specifics of a 50 cal or a 762? <laughs> I'm just showing you how fucking smart I am when it comes to weapons and the weapon speed. And, yeah, well, but what you the, could what have acquired that. You could have acquired that from your security uh, executive protection and stuff like that. I mean, okay, paramilitary we'll that. Airborne vet. Airborne yeah. vet. Oh God. Uh, well, what does he think now? What does he think now? Is it? Did I do good for him? 